for this problem, we actually have a crane here, and we have a hook at point A. So the problem statement is, the tow line exerts a force of P being equal to 4 kilonewton at the end of the 20 meter long crane boom. If theta is equal to 30 degrees, determine the placement X of the hook at A so that this force, P, creates a maximum moment about point Oh, what is this moment? So first we have to determine, okay, at what X will this um, P for kilonewtons, um, at what X will it have the maximum moment at point O? So um, the first thing is the main concept of the moment is, so the moment about point O is equal to a force times the distance that's perpendicular to this force so how do you maximize the moment whether so one way to maximize is either by increasing the force or you could increase the distance that's perpendicular to that force but in this case let's say if p was at a at an angle that means we would have to use sine or cosine theta to implement on the to get the force in in the in the, either the X or Y component, depending which one causes a moment, and it will further reduce the moment. Instead of being four kilonewtons, it's gonna be four times sine, uh, sine theta, or whatever angle that may be. So it's going to reduce it. So we know um, we can't change the distance that's perpendicular because it's it's fixed at 20 meters, as you can see here. But what we can do is to maximize the moment is to keep this angle at 90 degrees this is where it will maximize the moment because we won't have to split up this four kilonewtons into its x and y component and only one of them will be causing a moment in this case we want the four the full four kilonewtons to produce a moment so it needs to be perpendicular to this 20 meters which is the distance that's perpendicular from p to point o so now from here, it, it's simple to just draw this out separate from um, this drawing. You could just draw the triangle to further simplify things. So let's go ahead and do that. So here it is. It's always better to simplify into triangles. In this case, we know what the right angle is going to be located because that maximizes the moment. We have this angle theta 30 degrees, which was given, as well as this length 20 meters. So one thing to keep in mind is, look at this image of the crane. We see that the point O is about 1.5 meters above the, the floor, in this case, or where point A is. So realistically speaking, this continues on to point A here, and so we need to determine an additional amount of length in this case. So we need to determine how much is this distance, and then we need to determine how much is this small little distance. And once you add them up, you get what we're trying to solve for, which is X in this case. And so this is where it's nothing more than trig doing certain steps um, to get the appropriate dimensions. So we see for this big triangle here that this side is basically going to be equal. Let me go ahead and write it over here. So this side is equal to, if we get cosine 30 degrees, cosine is equal to adjacent, which is 20 millimeters over that hypotenuse. In this case, let's call it X prime. So X prime so we have cosine 30 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and we could go ahead and just algebraically manipulate this to solve for x prime so x prime ends up being 23.09 meters and you see we just multiplied x prime on both sides of this equation then divided by cosine 30 so x prime is equal to 20 meters divided by cosine 30 which is 23.09 so we have x prime here but what about this one let's call this one x double prime what is x double prime so First off, we see that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? We have 90 degrees here. We have 30. All three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So this one must be 60 degrees, which means that this triangle has the same angle. 
this smaller triangle. So it's also 60 degrees. And we do have this length, which is 1.5 meters, which was given in the problem statement here, 1.5 meters. So given that we have an angle, in this case, we could use tangent 60 degrees. So tangent 60 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, in this case, x double prime. So of course, some algebraic manipulation, x double prime is equal to 0.87 meters. So now finally, our full distance x is equal is basically the addition of this these two. So it'll be this x double prime as well as x prime. So we just add them up. And finally, our distance x, which maximizes this um, this moment is 23.96 meters. So when you're first initially solving these problems, there may be a lot of information, but just take it one step at a time. Look at ways to simplify, whether it's drawing um, triangles and getting rid of all the clear. So it basically makes you see what information you have and what information you have to work with to be able to solve any particular unknowns. In this case, we, we were asked to solve the x the distance which maximizes the moment, but that that basically implicitly stated that this angle had to be 90 degrees because that's the only way to maximize the moment. So this force has to be perpendicular to this distance here to point O to maximize that moment. So sometimes that those are the things to look out for. The concepts must be there in order for you to find the first step in the process to solve the solution. And so, yeah, this is the second problem here. And the second part to this is what is that moment? So since we already have that the P is equal to 4 kilonewtons, the perpendicular distance is 20 meters. So in this case, the moment about point um, O that's caused by the force P is equal to negative 80 kilonewton meters. So in this case, since that force it basically would be rotating along point O in the clockwise direction. And since I stated my sign convention counterclockwise being positive, the moment along point O is equal to a negative, um, negative 80 kilonewton.